my alt account, I do have a chance at just straight up kicking her ass. Actually, oddly enough, I think I've won most vein lanes I've played. I, I genuinely feel that Vayne is probably one of the strongest counters you could pick into Urgot, but I, at the same time, I think I've won 80 to 90% of the games I've played against Vayne. At least won the link. God, I hate this. Can they please get rid of that? And hey there, Dorgville. Merry Christmas to you and to one and all. Lulu Cogman, you have insane mental strength not to dodge that. I was too busy chatting to you guys to, to look at the details, but you're right. I think it was just the Lisa in that convinced me to play this. I think the Lisa in is the only reason why I didn't dodge. Because the lower yellow you get, the less leeson is is a, a good pick. But yes, if those were on my main account, I would have dodged instantly. Seeing a vein top is a, an immediate no-no. But that's the other thing to mention. Both vein and Lee Sin are very mechanically difficult champions to play. What is it going? We have a T. People dumb enough to spam their Twitch at the beginning of a game? Not smart. You want to spam your Twitch when you play well. You don't want to spam your Twitch when you don't. When you, oh God, I got to be very careful against this champ. I mean, I'm shoving, so she's just going to miss farm under turret if she's not careful. The two first. As you can see, early on, Urgot and Vayne are basically uh, just like any other lane. I shove the first two waves in, and then I play safe. It is annoying to play against a genuine range champion top lane, though, because she outranges me heavily. The fucking damage she just did. Yes, percent max life true damage is not okay. Huh? No! Fuck! The W took too long. God damn it, the W took just a little too long. Or she she must have just gotten the third auto off, so that killed me. Damn. Oh, that's really bad. But hey, at least my team seems to be doing well. But yeah, now I'm behind the vein, which is fucked up. Because I landed my E on her, and she still won that. It's really annoying. The W cooldown was just a little bit too long. If it showed up just a smidge earlier, that's a kill. I would have died for it, but that would have been worth. Would have been really worth. Damn, I took a big risk and did not did not pay off. Wait, ignite procs electrocute. It shouldn't. I also love how it costs her no mana to do everything in her kit. My Q costs me 20% of my initial mana.
Her Q costs basically nothing. Let's look at her mana pool. She has 339 mana, so I've got a lot more mana than her. But her Q costs literally nothing. That ability costs a lot more mana. It was really dumb for her to do that. She was trying to cost me the can of that got it anyways. See, that's the stupid part. Urgot's Q is a poke tool, and it's very weak. Why does it cost 80 mana? Why does Vayne's Q, which is so incredibly powerful, cost none? And the same is true with almost every bruiser. Why does Darius's Q cost nothing? And now here's where we get to the most fun of this laning phase, where she's harassing me under turret and I've got nothing I can do about it. Isn't that amazing how she took zero turret shots after autoing me three times under the turret? Isn't that amazing? I can tell you this, I can't do that. 90% of bot lane champions can't do that. Again, another one of those reasons why I know Riders don't play this game is because they haven't nerfed Bane into the ground. If they if they had played this game, she would not be a champion anymore. She would be a shell of her current self. Literally a shell. Because if I had creative control, that's what she would be. I would literally remove everything strong in her kit and say, hey guys, let's start over from scratch. But the first thing I would do, obviously, is make the percent max life true damage physical, and I'd cut it in half. Because I don't want her to be strong. She doesn't deserve it. Wow, that actually hit her. And of course, you see how I just can't get any harass- she, She's harassing me this entire time. I'm, I'm actually nearly- look, I've lost all this life under the turret. With no ability to interact with her because everything she's doing is longer range than everything I'm doing. Except for my Q. My Q is the only tool I have that I can interact with her with. And it costs me too much of my mana, so I can't use it. It's an incredibly frustrating experience. Incredibly fucking frustrating. I think the first rule at Implement at Riot is that everyone must play this game. You cannot work at Riot without playing this game actively. If you don't, if you don't clock in at least 10 hours in ranked, you're fired. Every week, at least 10 hours of ranked. It would literally be a, you don't get to make exceptions. I don't care if you're the VP of the company. You, if you don't play this game, 10 hours a week, minimum, in ranked, you're fired. Because if, if, if more writers actually played the game that they're working on, this game wouldn't be so bad. Guaranteed. 100 fucking percent guaranteed. This game would not be so bad. Too many minions for her to freeze, thank goodness. Still slow pushing towards me. No worker less than diamond. I wouldn't do that. But I would say that we need to keep um, a solid division. Which means there needs to be player there needs to be rioters in literally every ELO. Roughly equal to the general population. I don't think you can necessarily enforce that, but. Be something. An ally has been oh, there goes our bot lane. Shit. God, I'm still, I'm half a level behind her because of her being just being able to casually force me off uh, the uh, away from the turret like that, so she could shove it in. And Twenty CS behind her too. Damn. I 
so I didn't miss any CS. Again, she's chunking me down. I got no counterplay because she outranges me the entire time. Well, I'm dead. Never mind that. But I did get her ult, but that's not good enough. I I I eat the wrong direction. At least I have teleport. I get to zone her away from the cannon. Cool. I did lose Ghost, but with her R down like this and no mana to speak of, I'm okay. Oh, that was a TF ult, huh? Let's go say hi to this Lisa. Yeah, he's dead. Ah, got his flat. Or did he work hop? And our bot lane's dead again. Cool. Please get him, cat. Nice shot. And now I'm nine. All right, cool. At nine, I have the distinct capability to kill this vein if I could get on top of her. But I need to get on top of her, which is not easy. most of my life. Again, everything I do is difficult. Everything she does is point and click. Mechanically speaking, yes, it's really hard to play Vayne, but I have no counterplay. My kit is loaded with counterplay, and her kit has none to speak of. The only counterplay I have is her making mistakes. That's it. She has counterplay whether I make mistakes or not. I can do everything perfectly, and she can counter it all if she plays it well. If she does everything perfectly, I have literally zero options, zero counterplay. Oh, she just killed herself. Yeah, she's dead. This is the only way I win, is if she fucks up. She literally suicided. She tumbled into my... Yes, good. Oh, that's a cleaver. Our bot lane's 0-4. This is not a surrender game. What the fuck, Udyr? Our bot lane being 0-4. Oh, God, they're Cogmas 4 now. Okay, maybe it is. It's a it's a Cogma Lulu and the Cogmas 4 and 0. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know why she teleported there. Oh yeah, something I can de definitely say is that I would want every worker in the company to at least meet the average expectation. Oh, you're dead. This vein's terrible. This vein's terrible. There's a reason why I didn't want to dodge this game because when I saw the vein, because at this ELO, this is what you should expect. You should expect the veins to constantly make mistakes. Because there's so much mechanics involved in playing this champion that it's natural to keep making mistakes. Play. All it takes is one mistake for me to have the opportunity to kill. Maybe I'll tap for a second. Yes, now I'm two and one. And I killed her by myself. Didn't I got no help for this. I had to murder her myself. I was pretty sure there's a ward in here, so let's just wander through. I'm 11 to her 10. She can't fight me anymore. With Ghost up, she can't fight me. 
I'm kidding. She can. If she's good enough, she can kill me anyways. It actually doesn't matter what level I am or what advantage I have. If she's good enough, she can kill me at any point. Because it's an issue of counterplay. She has it and I don't. Where's the bank? Did Vayne just quit? Maybe I should have towards the bot lane. With my ultimate and ghost, I, we can definitely kill it. It looks like the Vayne quit. Oh, Israel, don't back now. I guess he's just leaving me to the lane. Alright, that's fine, actually. Our Katarina is definitely doing extremely well. I wonder if I can kill the Kogma. No, he's got a Kraken Slayer. Impossible. Kraken Slayer, Kogma with a Lulu behind him. Impossible. There's no way in hell I can beat him. And I take that. He's dead. Is he dead? God, that fucking polymorph. <laughs> Still, got Still got that son of a bitch, and now she's dead too. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! That TF ult was actually good. I actually was able to kill him, and I couldn't get him with my ult because of the loot. But I managed to kill him afterwards because of Cleaver. The car from Cleaver is so strong, there's a reason why I buy it, even when the enemy team's got nothing... It has got uh, no tanky champs on it. Because you could do that. <laughs> Once they get low, the damage you do is just absurd. Which, by the way, does anybody know if that... If the uh, carve damage is full damage for Urgot? Because it's not... Ne I, I don't know if this counts as an on-hit effect because it works on damaging abilities and attacks. So, it's, it's a little bit confusing. This is one of those things that, unfortunately, Riot has left up in the air because they haven't... The, the elaboration's not in the item itself. Pog <laughs> yes. What is your rank, dude? Uh, on my main account, it's plat something? This account is gold, too, so... I mean, at this point, I don't, I don't think of rank at all. I'd actually rather be in silver than plat. And the Udyr's inting. Why? Why did the Uter just end? We're winning right now. You guys are fucked. You guys are completely fucked. Why did anyone want to surrender? I don't get it. Who the fuck wants to surrender? We're stomping right now. Nobody gonna help me with this? Yeah, their Kogma can't deal with me at all. That's the uh, Black Cleaver damage. Oops, my E timing was way off. This is just free. Yes, I am an Urgot. I would also be a Zack main if Zack were playable. When Zack's back in a playable state again, I'll be a Zack main too. Just helping him. Oh, we're gonna kill this vein. We're gonna rip her to shreds.
We're good. There were a lot more of them there than I was prepared to handle. I was expecting only like two or three of them. I was not expecting four. Our Udyr is going to be a problem, isn't he? I thought when I killed this pink ward, that meant there was no vision here. My bad. Now I got an executioner. Two Krakens. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's got a full Ginsu's as well. You play chess? No, I do not. I used to. Not a fan of games that are 100% open information. I prefer games with some hidden or random elements to it. Yeah, she's done. Thank you. I like how she knocked me back and how little it mattered. Our Twisted Fate actually does a lot of damage, that Imperial Mandate. That item is such a ridiculous item. It is, the fact that Imperial Mandate actually makes Malphite support feel broken shows how ridiculous that item is. And the best part is I didn't need to use the Righteous Glory, so I still have it. Definitely kill her. Did they seriously just take Baron? Oh, walk up, I dare you. Just leave. Oh. Oh, that's fine. This vein's bad. This vein is so bad. Right, we can definitely take this. Like I said, there's a reason why I didn't dodge this game. It's because if they see you you don't expect the veins to be good. Oops, didn't mean to take them both. Do I still play Kraken Slayer got now? Too squishy. I love it. Kraken Slayer is incredible on Urgot, but it leaves you feeling so squishy. Because look at this. I have built three items so far. Only one of them is a tank item. If Kraken Slayer was my Mythic instead of Turbo Chem Tank, right now I'd have no tank stats. The only tank stats would be the 300 health I get from Black Cleaver, which makes you, leaves you feeling so squishy. This also gives 200 health, but it's 500 health. That's nothing. Did you just suicide? God damn it. I was considering going all in there, but... They have to know I'm in here. Oh my, they don't know! I just screwed up. Oh, he's still dead. No, he's not. Or wait, oh. Well, that fucker's dead. My Q did land on him. Ah, uh, Vezero's Q hit, that was a kill. Udyr here and the Lisa and too low to compete. This is ours. And that's Cloud Soul. Damn. Cloud Soul is actually really nice for me because it means when I pop my ultimate, I move real fast. 
That's what Cloud Soul does, right? Yeah, ten percent increase an additional fifty percent for six and a half casting ultimate. That's really good. That is really, really good. That is exactly what I need. All right, what else do I need? Um, let's go for some sort of attack speed reduction. We'll figure something out. I, I guess I should go for Randuin's. Would you take Kraken Slayer for BC? The thing is, BC feels about as strong as Kraken Slayer. Um, and because of that, I'd rather have BC. It's insane how much this item synergizes with her guy. More so than it did last season. Much more so. That carved passive is so strong it deserves to be a mythic of its own. Seven, three on our cat. I'm eight and one, Jesus. I'm that strong, huh? They got Baron, but they're the ones losing hard right now. So tempted to zoom in if anybody showed themselves. No! Ah, I'm dead. God damn it, they were all here. They rotated as a fucking pack. And unfortunately, my E whiffed on the cog. If it, hit, if it had landed on the cog, I'm pretty sure I could have killed him. But it didn't. Damn. You're also saying Drake spawns. Thankfully, um, we, we still got all of them. Somehow. Good damage to the turret. If I'm the only casualty, it's not the end of the world. I had a huge shutdown. It's so big, it's still there. You actually won that good. Let's go kill the Zoe. She's dead. Nope. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my god. That was a lot of fucking damage. <laughs> oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Good god. <laughs> oh, wow. I am really strong right now. They're not actually stacking crit. I should actually go for Frozen Heart. Plus, I'm not good when it comes to using multiple actives, so it's safer. It is both a stronger choice given uh, the circumstances and safer. now. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know why she's bot lane right now. Yep. 
Don't think you're getting out of this. Thanks for the blue buff. Right, now let's go take that Baron. There's no way they can defend it now and inhib it. And in Hib down, they're Kogma dead, they're Lulu dead, they're Vayne dead, they can't, they can't. At this point, the Lee Sin can look for a steal and he'll die. Yeah, you guys see the movement speed I get when I throw my R out? It's fantastic. It's like popping a ghost. <laughs> popping another ghost, because it's I don't have enough movement speed. I need a little bit more. Just 10 and 3. What a stomping. What a stomping! Oh, we've got all their inhibs. It's 30 minutes and all inhibs are down. Yeah, let's go here. I mean, the game's over, but I'm, I still want to go there, right? Let's get that in. Let's... Oh, that's a bit too. <gasps> he lives! Ravenous Hydra's a fun item. I, I gotta consider that in more games, but in this case, I think Frozen Art was the right call. Like, I would have preferred swapping up my uh, Chem Sword for Ravenous, given the option, but because their team had so much healing on it, I needed to go for it. I need anti-healing to be able to deal with him. I want to honor you, but I can't. Honestly, the TF did a lot of good things, despite starting off really terribly in lane. I'm not going to give it to her because she wasn't there when we... like. She is definitely one of the big reasons why we won that game, but we would have won that game about five minutes earlier if she was more in line with the team. There are several moments that game where like, she wasn't thinking strategically at all or making no strategic sense in her decisions. And it, it extended the game much longer than it needed to. But yeah, I did... Oh yeah. I did 37 more damage than the Kogma. That's how you know. That's how you know you carried a game. The fed as fuck enemy Kogma loses in damage to Urgot. You have to follow to fuck with shit. That's right. Good thing I don't remember what his what his Twitch is unless he typed it. Did he? He didn't. So oh, there it is. Ah, fine.